a little bit of salt. Could see myself putting this on with like a blazer. Just feel like as a mom, you're like tugged in so many different directions. And that's why we preach forgiveness, not because it's easy, but because unforgiveness changes your form. You only live once. Enjoy your body. Amen. <laughs>so i am stopping here at tj maxx it is one of my favorite places to come you know um i remember being a younger girl spending some days okay in tj maxx with my mom and dreading every moment of it but here i am as an adult and um I'm in TJ Maxx often. I drag my girls here too, and they absolutely um, hate it. So today I got a chance to come alone, and I am checking out the runway section. Runway section has been a little skimpy in our area. I really do love when I'm able to find some high-end luxury brands um, for an affordable price, okay? Heavy on the affordable. Like when you find runway um, items at TJ Maxx, you are paying a really affordable price, and I really do love that about TJ Maxx. But today I didn't find anything from the runway. I did snack a couple of good items, and um, I'll be sharing them with you guys a little bit later. All right, guys, I'm not sure if I mentioned that the whole goal of today's TJ Maxx run was really to find this seasoning for my husband. Um, I obviously did not find it, um, but I do have a buggy full of clothes. I'm actually waiting on one of the managers to come from the back. He went to look for the pants to a set that I am wanting. Um, don't you just love when people mix and match sets on the floor that are supposed to be sold together? So he is looking for the pants. He said sometimes when um, items are mismated they will store them in the back and in hopes of finding the mate and putting the set back together so he's looking for that now so I am actually just waiting on him okay can TJ Maxx just go ahead and open up a grocery store like look at all of this popcorn coffee look at all of this stuff look at all of these food items I feel like they should just go ahead at this point and open up a grocery store what do you guys think yeah, it's not back there, so I'm going to let Nancy, uh -huh. know, she can just be able to mess me before you when you get up there. Okay, yeah. all right, thank you. Uh -huh. Do I go to, what, what, you know what, I'm actually ready to check out, let me oh, come on. Whatever register you get to, you can just ask for Nancy and she'll, that's, um, she'll be able to get Okay, that. okay, right. oh yeah, I'll just send in line. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it. Just put them in the back passenger here. Oh, okay. Thank you. fly by and I have an order that was supposed to be in, supposed to have been delivered yesterday by 10 now it says today 
and they push the time back. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? I don't think they're going to get it here today. I don't know. It's crazy. So we'll see. Amazon has been. Squir oh, I, there's a package? What? Okay. It's, she said it's Amazon. Is it Amazon? Oh, the guy's here? Oh, cool. He stopped at our house first. Woo woo. Yeah, yeah. Woo woo. Ah, oh, okay. My package came. Yay. So we are getting ready to press this here y'all why we got air i don't know if i shared with you guys our ac is back working and my daughter and i are so cold natured tell them what we got going we have the heater going. we have a space heater going because we are so freezing cold y'all i tell you what we don't know if we want to be hot or cold but um it feels so good in here but we just came back in and um the house was freezing. And instead of putting on more clothes, we opted to just gra grab the space heater. Like, how blessed are we? Um, but we're getting ready to start on this hair. Little Mama is playing a video game. What are you playing? Asphalt 8. What? Asphalt. You know, like the stuff they used to love the work. Okay. Asphalt 8. It's a recent game. Le leap or le 8. 8. Oh, okay. Asphalt 8. So she's playing a video game, and I am about to get going on this hair. It is, I don't know what time it is, I think it's a little after 6. So hopefully we will be done before too late. Did I burn you? No. Okay. I just lost. You just lost. <laughs> hopefully we'll be done before too late. And oh, do I have these up? Oh, they're only on 360. Y'all, I do 425 for our hair. I probably should not, but... um. My hair and my youngest daughter's hair is it's very stubborn. Um, my oldest daughter, I think she does 425 as well. But we don't put heat in our hair a lot. I think I've shared that with you guys like a million gazillion times. We don't do a lot of heat. So 425 is um, the max on this. I think 425 is, is that the highest setting on most curlers? Anyway, that's what we use on this. And I just get their hair really um, straight the first time around, and it usually lasts pretty well. Um, and I don't have to keep reapplying heat. We this off. I think we've we toasted up enough, aren't we? Very toasted and roasted. So you talk about heat training. I feel like my youngest daughter. I'm finally getting to a point where I feel like her hair is we're getting there in terms of heat training. I have been pressing her hair for ooh, maybe about four years now. And I feel like we're getting there. Her hair, her hair rather is very stubborn, um, like mine. So I feel like it's taken a little bit longer for it to become heat trained, but I really think we're getting there. Um, it used to take me like more than one pass of heat for her hair now one pass of heat on each strand and I'm I'm pretty much good to go. Whereas before, like her roots would take forever. Um, I'm gonna go in again right here, but I like to get their hair really silky straight the first time around so that I don't have to worry about um, reapplying heat throughout the week. So that is the goal. If you can get your hair bone straight when you press it, that is the key. And try to get it as straight as you can when you blow dry. Straightening your hair really, really, really well and thoroughly when you blow dry is important because that means you're gonna not have to apply as much heat to your hair. Um, and you can, you can get away usually with one pass of uh, heat when you're at the point where you're flat ironing so I am so happy that her hair is at a point where we're kind of getting getting trained by the time they leave the nest their hair will be good to go so they won't have to worry about like 
you know, their hair reverting back as quickly if they get caught in like the rain or whatever, so. Hey, good morning guys. The kids are back in school. This is their first day. I am super, super duper excited. Um, I wanted to get pictures of them this morning, but I just was like, you know what? Have a good day. Y'all have a good day. Love you. Um, and whisk them on out of the door. I, I have to remember that when I signed up to you know, be on the internet and to share with the world via YouTube and other platforms that my kids didn't sign up to do that. And while my little one, you know, she does enjoy being on camera from time to time. My oldest one is, you know, every once in a while she will bless you guys with her presence. I just want to be always mindful of not always having a camera like in their personal space, invading their space and just, you know. So, um, but I could have gotten pictures just for myself for first day. So I'll probably get pictures on tomorrow um, just so that I can just kind of, you know, earmark from year to year their first day of school and just, you know, kind of charting their growth and their style and all of that. So yeah, it is the first day, first, full day back in school. Yesterday, I didn't pick up the camera at all, but they had um, they had a two hour day yesterday, which I feel like is a total waste. Cause moms y'all all, all over the world are like ready to get their kids back to school. We're like two hour day for what, okay? Um, I was watching something so super funny this morning. I was scrolling my phone. I'm gonna see if I can find it. But it was this really funny um, post um, and I thought I was the only mom that just felt like so discombobulated. Like, am I losing my mind? Um, all of the just getting things together for back to school, um, you know, like doctor's records. Here it is, y'all. It says every mom, every mom right now. like it, it it says um school school shopping registration kids getting um back into sleep schedule school supplies sports declutter the whole d house like uh what to make for dinner um am i setting up for fall or halloween like because as soon as you go back to school we're getting into fall and um halloween and all that and it's so it's just so funny like you just feel like as a mom you're like tugged in so many different directions but um the sun is coming out now don't get me wrong. I, I know how, um, how much of a blessing it is to be a parent. I don't, I prayed for my babies in spite of what doctors thought I would be able to do, um, and have, and my husband prayed for these babies and we are blessed to have two amazing daughters. We wanted them. We love them. Um, I always feel like I have to put a disclaimer out before I talk about how, how exhausting being a mom is, but like we definitely love our kids. But you guys know I don't shy away from sharing my heart with you guys and how um, challenging it is just being a parent. I called my cousin the other day because um, I had a moment where I was like so, 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 so frustrated. Like I was using the bathroom. I hear a knock on the door. I didn't respond. I hear another knock on the door. I didn't respond. I hear a third knock on the door. And I was like, I'm on the toilet. 
I didn't sound that pleasant. But I was just like, are you serious? You, you know that I'm in the bathroom. Whatever it is, it can wait. And you have a second parent. My husband works from home. And I feel like it's so crazy. Like kids gravitate to mom always to get permission to want to, you know, get in, to, to do anything. You know, I'm like, you got a whole daddy upstairs. Just go, just go see if you can get an answer from him or wait. Um, wait until I get out the toilet. But it was just like the, now that I'm looking back, it, it's, it, it was, it was kind of funny. But when I was in the, in the moment, I was like so frustrated, called my cousin just to vent. And she was like, girl, I am so ready for my child to go back to school. So I, you know, sometimes you feel bad, like when you have these thoughts and you get frustrated and you're just like, oh my God, these kids are like on my last little nerve. And the last little nerve that I have is not even a whole nerve. It's like, it's like just a fraction of a nerve. Like, but um, I think next summer, we're gonna have to get to some summer camps. We're gonna have to get a job, go to summer camps. I don't know about you guys, but we went to summer camp. We did not sit at home in the summer. Cause I kept thinking like, did I get on my ner mom's nerves? Was I like in her space during the summer? And I'm like, no, my mom was a career woman. Like my mom worked in the summer. So I went to summer camp and enjoyed it. Like, I feel like these kids don't really know how to socialize because they have this, right? And I think the pandemic and lockdown just kind of forced kids to be like secluded. And even when we came out of the pandemic, like I asked my kids if they wanted to go to summer camp, they were like, who's to summer camp? Who goes to summer camp? I'm like, so next year, I think we're gonna go to summer camp. But I said all that to say the little one, it was a little one who was knocking on the door. Um, knocking on the door, I'm on the toilet. And I was just like, Lord, I had to come out because I'm, I'm wondering as a mom who is really trying to conscious parent, um, I think we all are, I think moms are all doing the best job that they know how, right? Um, I'm like, have I not set boundaries? Like I kept wondering, like, does she not realize that if I'm on the potty, that means one or two things. Either I'm using a restroom or I'm clearly hiding from the family and I'll be out when, I, when I'm when i ready. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be honest with you, mom, if you're watching, I apologize for stalking you while you were on the toilet. Cause I do remember actually, that, and that's where I had to have a little bit of grace. I do remember my mother telling me if this door is closed and I'm in the bathroom, you wait until I come out. <laughs> don't, don't knock. And, um, so yeah, it's, it's just, it's crazy. Like you just, sometimes you feel so smothered, but you do love your children. You love, you love, you love your children, but the summertime can get a little taxing. My, my cousin was just like all the moms that she knows are like, so ready for kids to go back to school. And it's so funny because a lot of parents at the at the start of the school year are frustrated because the school system wants to play with us with these little half days. Bring in your materials. No, we want to bring in our child. <laughs> and I'm a former educator. You guys know that. So I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing it from both sides. Like I understand educators, you know, um needing that two hour window of just having kids for a little while, drop off your materials so that we can kind of get things going and set up the classroom. But then I'm looking at it from being a mom to where I'm like, I want my kids gone. Can y'all keep them all day? But anyway, no, I have really amazing kids. They are so well behaved. I'm complaining, but I really shouldn't be complaining. Um, but again, I don't shy away from, like I said, sharing my heart with you guys and letting you know that, you know, no home is perfect. Like we all have emotions. We all have feelings. We all, you know, have nerves that our kids get on. And it, that's just life. That's, I don't ever want to come on here and make you guys think that like I have the perfect setup. I think social media is so full of these perfect images, you know, these pictures and these um, reels and all this where you just think everyone's living a fair tale life. No, everybody has issues. Everybody has, um, struggles in their relationships. Husbands and wives do fuss and argue and, you know, differ in opinion. You know, relationships are things that we're constantly working on. Like there is no perfect relationship. I, I just, you know, and I understand not broadcasting that stuff on social media, but I do also think that a lot of people are looking at 
um, vloggers and looking at social media content and just really consuming and taking in these picture perfect lives when that is not the story or the, 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 <laughs> that is not what I'm trying to present for you guys. I want you to know that there are real life struggles, but I want you to know that in these four walls, we love each other. We are committed and dedicated to making family work. We are committed and dedicated to making relationships be whole, as whole as we can. We say, I'm sorry to our kids when we feel like we have um, wronged them, hurt them. Um, when we feel like we have lashed out in frustration for whatever reason, we say sorry. Um, we're really, really big on that. Um, and we allow this to be a safe space for our kids to share with us without feeling this sense of like, I'm not respecting my parent. We allow them a space to be able to share with us when they feel like we have, you know, um, lashed out a little too harshly. So, um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I am home alone. Y'all, my house, my kitchen is clean. I've got the vacuum out. As you guys can see, my, my living room, my main sitting area here is like, ready to be photographed for a magazine. It has not been this clean and this orderly all summer, you know, and I understand because the kids have been home. Got a couple of things that I need to pick up here on the fireplace and put away. And then our dining room is kind of under construction, but not really. I just have a lot of junk in the dining room that I need to one declutter. Um, and then two, I'm thinking about doing some things in the dining room, tweaking it a little bit more. You guys know, if you've been here for a while, you know, every single holiday going into Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm painting, I'm painting something in my house. So this year I'm thinking of, I don't have much to paint anymore. The house is pretty much all wrapped in alabaster by Sharon Williams. You guys know we went from biscuit by Sherm Williams, which is a very, um, it's a white, but it's, it has pink undertones. And I did that trying to match the trim in all of the house because the trim was originally painted in biscuit. And I thought I would take the lazy route. And instead of tackling, um, painting all of the trim, which is a very tedious project, uh, painting trim and doors is a lot. So I thought the doors and the trim were all in, in biscuit. And I thought, oh, I'll just paint the house in Biscuit and we'll be done. Well, guys, I didn't like Biscuit. It made the house look really, it looked pretty, but it was, I needed it to be a brighter white. So I went with Alabaster and I am really, really pleased with the results. I do have a couple of things that I do need to do. Um, I need to finish the trim around the main door. And believe it or not, you guys probably haven't noticed, but all of the little, I think they're called spindles along the um, stairwell and up on the catwalk, they're still in biscuit. So if you look closely enough, you can see a little bit of that pink undertone because I never painted the spindles because could you imagine how tedious of a project that would be? But if I paint anything going into holiday, that is going to be what I tackle. And I don't know if I want to do it in sections. Like it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Ooh, 22 spindles in this one section. And I have three sections on the catwalk. I don't know if I want to like, y'all, I don't know how I'm gonna paint those. I don't know how, and, and, yeah, I don't know how to paint them because I can obviously paint what's facing me, but how do I get inside of the spindles? Uh, anyway, the spindles may stay biscuit, but I do want to paint. I've, I've got some things that I actually want to paint in terms of fixtures. I want to paint the fixture in the dining room black. I'm thinking about doing a spray paint, but then I'm also thinking about painting them the same color of the dining chairs, which is not a true, true black. Um, I want to paint the chairs here at the bar black. Um, so I've got some things that I want to paint black. I want to paint, there is a, um, 
vase over here on this little um, cabinet, filing cabinet that I want to paint black. So I've got a lot of things that I just kind of want to paint and going fall, fall is the time where I just get really inspired to kind of like make the house really cozy. So um, yeah, those are just some of the projects that I want to do. I also want to take, and you guys have never seen this little area, but there is a closet here that I'm not really utilizing to the best of its ability, I don't think. Um, right now, it just kind of has cleaning supplies in there. I want to take that cabinet, I think, or that closet and make it into a drop zone for the girls. I was sharing it with my husband this morning um, because we've got like a little mud bitch area coming into the main um, portion of the house off the garage. And, and the drop zone is really just a clutter pad. It's, it feels like it's not functional. And I also feel like it's an eyesore. I don't like seeing all of the, the junk there. And when I first created that drop zone, I figured maybe I should do like some enclosed like cabinets there, but I never got around to doing it because that little hallway is so narrow. I didn't know if I had enough room to put cabinets in that space without it really taking up a lot of the real estate in terms of, you know, walking room. So I didn't do that. But yeah, those are just some things that I'm just, like excited about. I love jumping into projects going into fall. As soon as the kids get back to school, I'm just kind of like my, my, my mind is like racing. Like, what can I do? How can I improve the house? How can I make it more cozy? So yeah, that is um, where I am today. I'm going to make myself something to eat. It is 10, 12. Um, this artwork is courtesy of my daughter. Let me turn it back on so you guys can see. Look at that guy. She's so creative. Um, and then I think what I'll do is go ahead and we can jump into the what's new and what's not portion of today's vlog or this week's vlog. Yeah. Yeah. It's over. It is over for you. School start back next week and your summer is over. It's time for you to get back into the routine of things, son. Ain't no more staying up past 9.30 at night. Ain't no more falling asleep with this TV on, running my electricity bill up sky high. You're going to give us that phone before bedtime. It's over. You also going to make sure you read a book every day this week before school starts. Because I can tell you right now, the summer has made you dumb. You reading the book because your mother told you to sit down at that table and write a short story for her like you normally do. She said you came back to her and asked her how to spell of. You going to second grade, son. Ain't no way you should be asking your mama how to spell a two-letter word. You also going to make sure you bathe every single day. You have funked up this house all summer. And we let you rock out, okay? But you are funky, son. Okay, I don't know what age it started, but you need to start putting on deodorant ASAP. You have bummed it out long enough. Summer is over. Congratulations. Clean up. Y'all, not that you have funked up the house and we let you rock it out. Oh my God, that is so hilarious. Parents all over these social media streets are just using their little platforms and just using their little social media spaces to like just i guess have a little bit of comedy and just share like it's it's a struggle out here being a parent it's a struggle it's a blessing it's a blessing though and i don't take it lightly i definitely don't take it lightly um the second grader not knowing how to spell the two-letter word that's funny sometimes i wonder if these skits are like pure comedy and made up or if this is like some real life experiences that we really sharing. Okay. In a comical fashion. Cause like I have seen so many like skits where parents are like, it feels like they really are like, um, shading their kids. Okay. You guys know I am a creature of habit. So I'm going to do just my regular old, um, I think kale salad. I'm going to saute some uh -oh, just drop some spinach. I'm gonna saute some cabbage. Um, I've got some kale, always. I always have this on hand. 
and I've got some leftover garbanzo beans that I need to eat up. I need to buy some more garbanzo beans. I love this bean. It is so easy to cook. I cook black beans um, the week before, and I want to say I feel like this is my first time ever cooking black beans um, that were not canned. I soaked them overnight, and it still took an incredibly long cook time. It, it was I was cooking forever. Garbanzo beans, super easy. You soak them overnight and cook them and they're done in no time. So I don't know. I like black beans, but the cook time for them um, was like crazy, crazy long. Oh, some peppers. You guys know how much I love my red peppers. So garbanzo beans, red peppers. And what is my other thing that I always get? Um, mushrooms. Where are the mushrooms? Oh, they're back here. Slide you guys over. Look at all of these leftovers. I don't know what this is. I think chicken and some wild rice is what the kids had last night. But mushrooms. Portabella. Look at that mushroom. <laughs> Y'all, I get so excited sometimes when I'm eating healthy. Um... And I say when I'm eating healthy because clearly I be eating wrong sometimes. I be stopping my Chick-fil-A, okay? Yo, I need to wash my apron. Um, I, I put it on no matter what when I'm in the kitchen. I put it on when I'm washing dishes because I feel like I always end up having like stuff all over my um, clothes, oils, water from washing the dishes. So I always grab my apron and the kids have been baking and cooking. So all of the <laughs> um, flour and stuff from where they've been cooking. Oh, and I didn't mention that I obviously, you guys probably know, I always top my um, greens with some type of, um, well, dates. So I'm gonna do some dates. Food scissors are my favorite. I don't like to chop things unless I absolutely have to. And these are super, super sharp. They're um, KitchenAid. Got a little bit of leftover quinoa or quinoa. Again, I just really like the food scissors because it also cuts down on me having to just, you know, use a cutting board. I just, I just like the food scissors. So this is normally my go-to. This is my date. And of course, I always put avocado on my salad or my bowl of greens, rather. A little bit of salt. A little bit of onion powder, a little bit of cumin, or a lot of bit of cumin. <laughs> I really like this. And then I'll just kind of toss it around and saute it a bit. And then I'll add my quinoa in last just to kind of just put a little bit of um, 
heat on it since it's been in the fridge so that it's not cold. This avocado is a little bit too ripe. Uh oh, and it actually has a little slit right in there that I didn't do. So let me see. I don't know about you guys, but I have gotten into the practice now of rinsing my avocados off before I slice them to it, just because you gotta think about all of the hands that have touched the avocado in the store. I see people picking avocados up and looking at them to see if they're ripe and all of that. So you've had a lot of hands on your avocado. So I usually rinse them off and then slice into them. I think this one is probably not gonna be the best, but we'll, we'll try it and see. Let's cross our fingers, y'all, because this is my last avocado. No, I think that one's gonna be bad. Look at that. Uh, I, I, I let it sit out for too long. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be bad. Oh no. Let's cross our fingers. Yeah. Yeah, what do y'all think? Would y'all eat that? <laughs> I am very particular about my avocado. And this part was soft. And this is the part that it was actually kind of cut open a little bit there. Um, I'm smelling it. It doesn't smell the best. Ugh. Yeah. This part is good. <laughs> Look at me trying to compromise because that part is good. Should I just eat that part, y'all? I think I'm just gonna eat that half. This part, I think I'm gonna throw this one away, but this part I'm gonna eat. My mom will be so proud of me. I could hear her saying now, ain't nothing wrong with that avocado, so I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat the good part, the good half. <laughs> what I perceive to be the good half, rather. Okay, um, oh, I know what I wanted to show you guys. The seasoning that my husband has been wanting is this Kinder's um, seasoning. This is what I went into Whole Foods TJ Maxx for. So if you see this seasoning, y'all, please DM me and let me know. If you're in the Nashville area, let me know where you've seen it. We do want it in this extra large one. This is 21.5 ounces. Um, and we do want it to be organic. I have seen the Kinder seasoning in Whole Foods, but I haven't seen it this large. And I haven't seen this particular seasoning here. It's the butcher's all purpose seasoning. So he is like really wanting this. We, when I bought them before, I bought, I think, on a, I wanna say three or four containers. We're down to our last, and we do have a little bit, you know, left before we're out. But y'all, this is what I have been on the hunt for, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. I'm wondering though, if I can't find it at TJ Maxx, I mean, where is it actually sold? Like maybe I should try to like go online to kinders.com, I guess, and see if they have it there. But look at the price, y'all. I paid $7.99 for it. Can you imagine probably what it costs? For real, for real. But anyway, we're kind of desperate at this point. So I'm gonna be searching online to see if I can find it. And if you, like I said, if you're in the Nashville area and you see it at a TJ Maxx, I may wanna try Marshall's too, guys. Because Marshall's has some of the same things. But yeah, let me know if you find it, if you're in our area, and um, your girl is going to clean them out. Get what you need first, because when I come, it's going to be no more. <laughs> That's how I shop. Oh, you guys know what? I actually, the other day, bought from Sprouts, bull, not black rice. I keep wanting to say black rice. I bought wild rice, not, not a mix. I bought wild rice and it is, where is it, where is it, where is it? I think you guys probably noticed it when I was at Sprouts. Wild rice is all black. Here it is. This, y'all, when I tell you, it is so good. Look, I don't know if you can see, but I've already cooked. I've cooked, I only have a little bit left. This wild rice was so good. And then the kids the other day had they had a wild rice blend, and I'm trying to find it so I can show you the difference, but where, are you? oh, here's what they had. They had 
this here, this wild rice blend from Sprouts. Um, this was not as expensive, but y'all, this was this right here, the wild rice, the pure wild rice, 10 bucks for very little. This is eight ounces, and then this one is 16 ounces. I'm like, why is wild rice so expensive? But you know what? It is going to be a new staple of mine. I saw where well, wild rice is actually better for you than brown rice, obviously white rice. And y'all, it was so good. It was like, um, it was good. It, I can't, I can't really describe the flavor. It had like, um, it was so good. Try it. Try it. And if you do, let me know if you like it. All right, y'all, this is my lunch. Doesn't it look good? How could you not want to eat this like every day? You see, the enemy isn't just after what you do. The enemy is after what you think. Because if the enemy can get your mind, he can change your actions. And so often in church, we make sin the big ones. As long as we're not shacking and as long as you don't do this and that, then you're living without sin. But if we were honest in this room, there were some of us who would be willing to admit that every single day I need saving. I need saving from the way that I think. I need saving from the way that I talk. I need saving from this wretched mind of mine because I am wired to think against that which is good for me. Sin is not just what you did before you got saved. Sin is what you're doing right now, trying to get your mind right. Some of us had to come to church today because I need to be in the presence of other people who are chasing after a renewed mind. I need to be in the midst of people who are trying to set their mind on things above because sometimes I set my mind on what happened in my past. And sometimes I set my mind on how worried I am in the future. Sometimes I set my mind on trying to control a situation. Instead of just letting go and letting God Sinning is not just who you slept with and what you drink Sinning is how you think about how God is showing up in your life And the enemy says if I can get your mind Then I can get your hands and I can get your feet And all of a sudden you will be going against the very thing God called you to do not because you did everything the right way, not because you were obedient, you've been covered. There were some people in this room, before you were even in relationship with God, you look back over your life and you see that God was covering you. I wasn't going to church, I wasn't praying, I wasn't trying to be righteous. I should be dead and out of my mind. I should be in somebody's grave. I should be locked up in jail. There's no reason why I should have this house. There's no reason why I should have these children, but I was covered in the midst of it all. I was covered. Some kind the way you covered me even when I didn't know I was covered you think your life was bad anyway you should have seen what it would have been had God lifted that covering off of you I know they betrayed you I know they walked away from you I know the family system was broken but if you think that's something you ought to see the plans the enemy actually had for your life you ought to see how he wanted to kill you and destroy you you ought to see how the cancer cells backed up off of you you ought to see how the ray machine showed what God said and not what was actually in your body. I've been covering you since you were a child. I've been covering you. Every step you took, I covered you. Don't let the fact that you saw the weapon make you think that the weapon actually prospered. Just because you saw it, it doesn't mean that it prospered because if you'd have known where it was really targeting... every step of the way anybody who would be willing to be honest in this room could admit that when I started sinning it's not just that I did an action it changed the way that I thought it changed my form no longer do I believe that I am the righteousness of God no longer do I believe that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made now all of a sudden things I said I'd never do I'm more open to because I'm not even the same person anymore because sin changed my form and God says I don't want to just cover you I got to make sure that I get you back reconciled 
God with me so that you can get out of the shape that the sin left you in. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I want you to know you don't have to stay in the same shape that that sin left you in. You don't have to stay in the same shape that that betrayal left you in. That's why we preach against bitterness, and that's why we preach forgiveness, not because it's easy, but because unforgiveness changes your form. Shame changes your form. I don't know who you are, but I came to wage war against that shame because that shame is changing your form and God's got a mission in the earth that you can only accomplish if you get back in the form that you were in before sin ever said your name. All right, guys, we're going to get started with our what's new and what's not portion of today's video. Um, I almost forgot to get the TJ Maxx bag. Um, I've got everything laid out, but we'll start with TJ Maxx since you guys saw me kind of shopping in there earlier um, in the vlog. I am just having at the suggestion of one of our lovely subscribers here in the community, Bridget. Thanks for the suggestion. This is grapefruit, uh, lemon lime and oranges. And I did mix it with a little bit of water as well. So here we go. Mm, this is this is very refreshing. Listen, I love juice, love fresh juice. So you guys remember the two piece set that I was admiring in um, TJ Maxx. Well, the guy was like, um, <laughs> he was like, I, couldn't find the piece. So he was just like, take it up to the front and um, she can mark it down for you. He told me which cashier to go to and she was going to mark it down. So he marked down the price, right? Um, and I was like, okay, I do still want the top because I thought the top was cute. Lo and behold, as I was like checking out, um, he came running back to me. Um, first off, I had to stand in a really long line, but he came running back to me and said, Hey, I think I found the pants. And, um, I'm, we're not sure if they're the pants, but this is a house of Harlow. It's the same brand. It's house of Harlow. It's a, um, and it has a thing on here that indicates that it's definitely a two piece set, but it's a size small guys. And the top as you can see, is a size, or maybe you can't see, but the top is a size large. So I was like, oh, great, right? Um, um, then I noticed, I was like, well, this is a large and the pants are a small. And he was like, well, listen, he was like, just take the pants. And if they don't work, don't worry about it. Like, it's you can bring the top back and just, start, like, I think sometimes at the end of season, like, people are just ready to clear merchandise out of the store. He was like, I'm, and he said, you can... I'll honor the markdown price, um, take the pants. So got home, guys, the pants being a small fit me perfectly and the large fits me perfectly. Like the large up top and the small is what I needed. So even if I found this in the set, I would have needed a mix match. And I'm wondering if that's what happened. I'm wondering if somebody else needed um, maybe a small up top and the large in the pants. It's crazy, but it worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna try this on for you guys so you can see. All right, now here is the outfit on. I actually could see myself putting this on with like a blazer. Oh, you know what? I actually think I have a blazer that is the perfect, um, this is a, like an off-white or an ivory. All right, so I grabbed this blazer that I had in the closet from H&M and I think I like this with the blazer, but it actually looks like it could have like come together as all one set. I'm gonna go ahead and hang this coat up because one of the things that I have been trying to work on as I'm filming and doing different things around the house in regards to, um, you know, my job as a creator is just putting things back. Sometimes I can just get like, 
in creative mode and just get to filming and filming and filming and filming and filming. And like, I don't put things up. All right. So let me grab the next fit, which is, oh, let's try this. Um, I got this dress from Walmart guys. And I'll tell you what had me excited about this one, right? I was scrolling on Instagram. Y'all gotta stay off of Instagram. Instagram has me spending my money. But I was inspired by this um, lady who just literally had on an oversized shirt. An oversized shirt, something so plain and simple, but you guys know I have been really drawn to white and cream and neutral colors lately. And she just had on an oversized shirt. I'll clip it up right here. And I was just, it was something about her oversized white shirt. I think she had the bag from the row. You guys know I want the bag from the row so bad, but listen, mama is not spending that much money. However, I did find a couple of bags and I'm gonna share with you guys in next vlog that I'm gonna save for and would be a happy, happy, happy compromise for the row bag. But I saw this girl or this lady and she uh, she appeared to be carrying the bag from the row that I really wanted. But um, she had on just an oversized white shirt dress. And I was like, oh, how mom chic is that? Like running errands, you know, going to the mall, grocery store. I thought it was so amazing. <laughs> But anyway, I got um, a shirt very similar, a shirt dress rather, from um, Walmart. I got this in a large and I also got a medium. Let's try on the medium first because, because hers is really, really oversized. So I didn't know if I wanted the large or the medium, but let's try on the, let's try on the medium. Okay, y'all, here it is. Mine has pockets. I'm not sure if hers has pockets. I'll have to look back at it again. Mine has pockets and mine came with a belt. I'm not sure if hers came with a belt, but this is actually the medium. I like the fit of the medium. Um, I think she had her sleeves rolled and cuffed up. The only thing that I'm not a fan of is the fact that the buttons aren't quite white on this one. But y'all, let me tell you about me. I will make some changes, okay? I will alter something in a heartbeat. It would be nothing for me to pop these buttons off and buy a pack of white buttons from Amazon and stitch them on. So don't be surprised if you see me in this dress with white buttons. <laughs> I just really like how relaxed this is. It's very relaxed and um, yeah, but I got the idea from just scrolling on Instagram and I saw this lady um, in an oversized white shirt. So here we go. I think it came in a blue jean, a denim and a black. Don't, I'm not quite sure on the black, but I'm almost certain it came in denim. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think. I have been loving, 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 loving white this summer. I've been wearing white all summer. And this is my first summer ever really getting into white. I've always been so afraid to wear white because I'm like, white gets dirty, white gets dirty. And I'm like, and you only live once. As the kids say, YOLO, <laughs> you only live once. YOLO, do what you gotta do, enjoy life. Like who cares, you wear white, it gets dirty, then come home and treat it, wash it. Like why do we save white for special occasions? So I've been rocking white so much. And I think another reason that I, steered clear of white is because we always feel like white makes you look larger. Well, YOLO again. Okay. You only live once. Enjoy your body. Amen. <laughs> All right. So next up are these bras by, I want to say, I think I'm saying this wrong. Wacol. Wacol. This is a brand that, let me show it to you guys. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Can you see that? Waco. This is a brand that, in my opinion, is a really good brand for bras. Um, I really like to get these bras when they go on sale. Um, I found these, and when I tell you I hit the jackpot, like I, I didn't buy one. I didn't buy two. 
I didn't buy three. I didn't buy four. Yes, no, I've, I stopped at four. <laughs> but I got four of these bras in black. And um, I think I may go back and get some. They had some in a nude color. I may go back and get a nude color, but I'm not going to try these on because that's not this type of party. Now, if I get sponsored to do like, you know, undergarments and under under things, then, you know, maybe, if, if you know. But um just imagine, this is, I think this was um, great for t-shirts. I've, I've already worn one. Um, great for t-shirts. Um, really, really nice. It is a bra that definitely gives you some good full coverage. Um, and these bras are quite, quite expensive. Well, I shouldn't say quite expensive. Well, yeah, I'll say quite expensive. This one ran $72 and I got it for $36.97. Um, I'll link some down below. I think that, um, these are really, really good bras. And one thing I will say is when you are top heavy, I don't know about you, but I don't like any extra padding in my bra. Now, all of the Waco bras that I have, they don't have the extra padding. I don't need any extra fluff. Mama's got enough. Mama's got enough. And it seems like now all of the bras now come with extra padding. And I'm like, why? Next up is this little bag from TJ Maxx. Um, thought it was really cute. Just a little statement bag. Love the little detail of the, the gold chain there. Um, big enough to actually get all of my essentials in there, like my little key, ch key um, card case, my phone, my gloss. You guys know I don't carry a lot in my bags. So this was um, perfect. The zipper works really well. Um, and yeah, so I got that from TJ Maxx. And I'll share with you in a minute what drew my attention to this little bag. All right, so let's move on to the portion where we talk about what's not new. But these are things that I am absolutely loving. And I will try to link similar items down below. Um, some items may still be in stock. Like I know for sure these Steve Madden shoes are in stock, which are, I've shared before, a dupe for the Hermes slides. This is my most worn purchase of the summer. My most worn shoe of the summer when I tell you these shoes are so, so comfortable. And I was a little concerned because if you go on the website and look at reviews, there are people that are talking about like how these shoes um, are very restricting. They're not wide girl feet friendly. I beg to differ. I have wide feet. I did a video on it. And these shoes, I have gotten my wear out of. When I tell you, I have gotten my wear out of these. And they are so incredibly comfortable. If you look here, you can probably see where I've broken them in quite a bit. And they didn't need breaking in, in my opinion. The very first day that I put these on, they felt a little snug. But the second day that I put them on, they fit like a glove. And again, I have wide feet and my shoes fit perfectly. The thing that I do love most about these is for me in particular, now everybody comes in different shades, okay? These shoes, look at that. They are such a good match to my skin tone. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes you want a shoe that is just going to be um, very low key, especially if it's one of those days where you're looking for a shoe and you can't find one to flatter your outfit, you want just something that's going to blend in and not cause a lot of fuss. You want, or maybe you want your outfit to be the main attraction and not your shoe. I love this shoe for that, for me, for my skin tone. It is just perfect. It comes in a couple of different colors. It def definitely comes in black. I think it comes in white. I will link them down below. But again, these are kind of like a dupe for the Hermes slide. These are very affordable, but I absolutely, hands down, this is, this is a good one. All right, next up for things that are not new but that I am loving, again, this um, Warco 
um, brand in terms of a bra. I love this half bra. I got it in a nude color, not because I really wanted nude, but I got it in nude because it was only one. And I, like I said, I stock up on these Waco, 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 W-A-C-O-A-L, Waco bras when they are on sale. And um, the thing that I absolutely love about this bra is one, it really holds your boobies up. Okay. How many of you guys wear half bras and are constantly having to like pull at your bra throughout the day to, you know, make sure it stays up. This one is the real deal. One, they have like this little, and you probably can't see it, but it's like a little fine strip of like clear, like tape, almost like grip and it grips you. So it's not going to slide down. Am I saying that right? Is it grip? I don't know what it is. But they also have it right along the top of the um, bra area. I don't think the light is catching it at all. But it's kind of shiny. No, the light's not catching it. But anyway, just trust me, it's there. These bras are thebomb.com. Um, this one is a little big for me now because I did lose a little bit of weight. This is a 34 double D and I, I think I'm down to just like a reg, a D now, a D cup now. So I'm going to hold on to this because who knows? I mean, I may grow my boobies back. Can you, if you lose boobies, can you grow them back? Maybe you can, but this is a really good bra. I'm actually getting ready to jump on the website um, and see if I can find a bra that is the same brand in a D instead of a double D. All right, moving right along, Banana Republic. Everything else from the what's not is Banana Republic. I love Banana Republic. The prices can be a little steep, but let me tell you what I do. I always shop Banana Republic at the end of their seasons. End of season sales, you are gonna come up on like some amazing pieces for like a TJ Maxx price. It is unbelievable. And first up, I will share, I got these last year, not this year. I've had them for a while. Love them, love them, love them. Banana Republic has some of the best linen. And I was in the hunt for, I will put on a, a Duke, a Daisy Duke. Am I showing, sharing my age? Am I showing my age? Daisy, y'all remember Daisy Dukes? I will put on a little booty short, okay? I, I don't show boobs, not comfortable showing my boobs, but I will put on a Daisy Duke. I'll show a little thigh. <laughs> I think I do that because I don't have a big behind. And I feel like if, you know, if you don't have a big behind, I'm like, you can, you know, you can play a little, you can dabble a little bit. But um, I will put on a Daisy Duke in a minute. However, I do need shorts that are appropriate for different settings, right? Church functions. Um, open house, like the other night at my daughter's school, like you can, you, I won't say you cannot, but I will not be the mom in a Daisy Duke at the church. I will not be the mom in a Daisy Duke at the PTO, you know, meeting. Not that I'm ever going to PTO meetings because I'm, I'm that mom that's anti-PTO. <laughs> Long story, I, I'll have to explain that to you guys later. But um, yeah, I am going to try to find a short that is becoming of, you know, or that is flattering on me, I'm going to find a short that is appropriate in length, in my opinion, for certain, certain events and certain settings. So I said all that to say Banana Republic has some of the best, the best um, linen. This is a black pair that I got um, last summer. And sorry, the fly is open, but, <laughs> and then this is a olive green or army green color. Love, love, love these. Um, and they come down at a very appropriate length. Love them, love them, love them. And then the next that I have to feature are Banana Republic jeans. You guys know, I swear by these. These jeans are all, however, um, like straight leg and skinny jean, because that seemed to be the trend when I bought them. I want to say I bought these jeans either last summer or the summer before. Now the trend is wide leg everything. Um, straight leg is back in, 
I still wear my skinny jeans. Um, I don't know if they're trending right now or not, but I listen, I put them on because I like them. But I will link down below if I can find um, similar linen pieces and jeans to Banana Republic that are on sale. One of the things that I will caution you of, however, is with Banana Republic, you want to make sure that if you are shopping online, if it says final sale, they will not. And I repeat, will not. Is that you, babe? Come on. My husband's coming down. It's time to get the girls. Are you going to get them? Yeah. Or the girl? Yeah. We, have, we have daughters getting out of school at two different times. One is in elementary and one is in high school. But one of the things you want to make sure that if you buy from Banana Republic and it says final sale, I think that's when it ends in a, the digit seven, that you know for sure that that is your size. They will not, and I repeat, they will not take it back. I've tried. <laughs> I've begged. I've cried. Um, they will not take it back. So make sure that when you're shopping online, you know your size. If you're shopping end of season sale and you're getting final sale items. Um, one of the things that I make sure that I do is I do look at um, the description. I look at reviews because sometimes you can look at measurements in the description and you'll think, OK, this is going to be a good fit for me. But you'll have people that. Um, will definitely give you a little bit more specifics depending on body types, you know, and it just may not work for you. So I, my rule of thumb for final sale items is if it is over $25 and it's final sale and I'm not sure that it is going to be a really good fit, like I haven't bought from the brand before and I don't know for certain what size I am per that brand, I just usually don't don't go there. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Um, I feel like it was just yesterday and I'm having flashbacks of our youngest daughter going to kindergarten. So you guys will have to let me know when your kids are heading back to school, what age are your children? Um, or are you empty nesters? And if you're an empty nester, hats off to you. Job well done because you deserve some time. Um, again, like I said, being a parent is such a blessing and it is a job that you should not take lightly. Um, and just know that you're doing the best you can. And even on the days when you feel overwhelmed, know that you're not alone. There's so many other moms, so many other dads out there that are in this fight with you, raising kids, raising kids the right way, I should say. Um, with a loving heart and um, morals and values is hard, especially in today's time. So just know that you are not alone. I hope you've enjoyed my company just as much as I've enjoyed yours and make your day beautiful. The choice is always yours and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.